Hello everybody, this is Matt and I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use a user-defined language in Node++. This makes it so that your me script that we are using for our modding to be more readable, like this. Um, when you're starting uh, Node++, it will probably look like this, except for the dark mode. Um, you can change this by going to settings um, and then dark mode and then switch to a light mode in this case. So this is probably how it looks for you when you first install it. And uh, you're going to switch back to dark mode. Now to make it look like this, we are going to go to language. And down there, there's user-defined language. As you can see, my mod SG language is already there, but it won't be for you. So you're going to download the file that is attached in the description below. And you're going to go open user defined language folder. And this will open up the folder here. And you are going to just copy paste the XML file into that folder. Um, since I have done that already, I can just go and switch it here, like you have seen. If you want to make changes for it, because maybe you don't like my custom colors, you just go here, language again, user defined language, then define your language. And then you have to make sure to check the right language that's up here. So go user language, the mod is G. And then you can go to the keywords and lists. This is basically where I do everything. This is just colorizing stuff. It's nothing complicated. And you can just go there and put these keywords here. So for example, I have uh, for cutscene things like dialogue and uh, cutscene on, cutscene off, and cutscene cam to. I uh, formatted them to be yellow. And I put this here in the first group. And you can just open up the styler and adjust it to your liking. So you can also just go make it pink, as you can see or make it bold instead of italic. It's up to you. So that's basically it. Thank you very much and bye.